Today, I want you to know what's on my mind. And what's on my mind is I think that we're going to be getting a larger roster. Now, I know this is like not secret news because y'all like, okay, duh, they're going to do DLC. Of course, we're going to get a larger roster. What are you yapping about now, Wave? Well, what I'm yapping about now is the fact that I honestly think that with everything going on with NRS, that there is hell behind the scenes. Now, I have no proof of this. This is all theory and speculation is all it is. I think there is hell based on the amount of delays that we've been having. You'll probably be wondering what delays. So basically, the servers are going down frequently to for maintenance. Even when the game launched, it went down for maintenance. The server's been going down still. People have been getting kicked offline. People have been getting losses when people rage quit. And on top of that, to top everything off, we have a bad switch port. So everything is just bad. Now, let's say this much here. When Mortal Kombat 11 came out, there were no such issues that I was aware of. Now, I pre-ordered Mortal Kombat 11. I ended up getting invited to the beta. I played the beta, played it all the way through. The launch was not this rocky. Mortal Kombat 1 is definitely having a rocky launch and they're doing everything that they can to cover it up. But thanks to Reddit and thanks to the Reddit community, I should just say across the board and X, they are exposing all of this. Now, I've seen people complain saying that the store and Mortal Kombat 1 has not been updated and it's been over 12 hours after they said it would be updated. And then most people are just confused as to what the heck NRS is doing. Now, I want you to know that it is my job to be the voice of the voiceless. So whether you are one voice or you are a hundred voices, I will take whatever you say, if it's a legitimate argument, whether it's good or bad, and I will make a video about it because I feel like you deserve to be heard. So I've been reading a lot of comments and which prompted me to make this video. So what I think is going on here from the Wave Report's perspective is that NRS is doing the best that they can under a time crunch. What I mean by time crunch is when WB took over everything, the new CEO, the guy took over, he wanted to get rid of all properties that were not making money, which is why they got rid of Injustice and instead they went with Mortal Kombat back to back instead of switching over to Injustice or a new property because they know it's going to sell. They know it's going to make money at a 90% guaranteed rate. So now that we established why they did Mortal Kombat right out the gate, they took an Injustice game and turned it into a Mortal Kombat game. Everybody can see that at this point. Like we all can see it in the animations, uh, even with the, what is it? The Fatal Blows. They got the little power up thing just like Injustice has. And that's fine because we understand that they're working under intense pressure at this point. So now it's we're still seeing effects of it trickling down. And what I mean by that is we've got a bad launch, a very bad launch with all of the bugs and them trying to keep track of everything and the bad uh, port version. And then not only do we have that, people are saying the gear system is complete, absolute dumpster juice. They're saying the Mortal Kombat 11 gear system was way better than the one we have now, which is a complete downgrade across the board, you know? So I'm seeing all of this stuff and I'm like, man, you know, prayers get sent out to Ed Boone and the team because I know they under a lot of pressure to get this stuff done. Now, on top of that, look at how many com combat casts that we actually got. We didn't even get combat casts for each character. They had enough content to give us a combat cast at least once a week until the game released for each character individually. Hell, we could have got two a week or something like that, but they ended up bunching everything all together and just stuffing it all of us at us at one point. And they really didn't get to shine the characters the way that they should have. Even the cameos should have had like they, they should have did a, like a cameo combat cast where they can just show off the cameos, which would have been dope. Or they could have had some what to expect things along with some interviews, et cetera, et cetera. So they did do the media run. The media run was done. They did do their media run, but their media run was, I'm not going to say it was trash, but their media run was also underwhelming. It wasn't as good as last year's media run at all, you know? So um, if anything, this game 
has been kept alive by the word of mouth because I'll give you an example. If you remove social media out the out the picture, how much promotion has NRS actually done for Mortal Kombat 1? Have you seen any Mortal Kombat promotional material in public? I haven't. Now, I'm in one of the most major cities in the United States. I have not seen it. I know where to go where they put all of the promotion. Now, I did see some online where it's like at bus stops and uh, now they got something, I think in Vegas or something. So now they're starting to do the promo, but it's just like a little bit, so it's a little bit too late because the game is out. Now, I'm not saying you can't promote the game because it's out, you know, I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is we've seen better promo from Mortal Kombat 11. So again, this is just one of them grab you a beer kick back and chill type of videos. This video does not really have a point or a conclusion and it's definitely not an NRS bash video, you know? So just picture this video here is me just kinda, you know, sitting next to you, cracking open a cold one and we just kinda chilling and just talking about what we may or may not be thinking about what's going on. This is what I like to call a chill video. So I wanna make that clear because I don't want you soy boys, you know, just getting all in your feelings about the video it's just a video we just kind of having fun that's all it is i wanted to make sure i get some content for you guys and just kind of want to speak freely on things that are going on in the community so my fingers are crossed because like i said this game has the room it has nothing but space and opportunity to be a massive hit across the board now i will say this the game is probably going to be a hit regardless but it has the opportunity to hit a lot harder, is what I'm saying. Straight up. So I look forward to seeing NRS win the long way. I want them to hit as hard as a hit can possibly hit. So in order for them to do that, they're going to need to drop new content, or whatever the case is, drop new content. And then they're also going to need to make sure that they work on their communication with the fans, you know, especially the community manager. Instead of calling me out on Twitter all day, focus on communicating with the fans so that way you can tailor to their needs. Now, I'll probably end up doing a video on that situation that I'm speaking on there about my beef or the beef that the Mortal Kombat community manager has with me for no reason. So I'll probably end up doing a video on that. I try to avoid those type of videos due to the negative connotation, but at some point I will probably speak on it at some point but anyway until then i want to make sure i service you guys with some really great uh with some really great content so that way we can keep the channel moving forward now i do want to give you just a quick channel update really really quick because a lot of you guys have been asking me what's next what's next what's next so what's next for the channel is we got vlogs coming up we got some special guesses that's going to be appearing on the channel we got some um some hot really popping youtubers that's going to be popping in from time to time for some videos I just have a lot coming for you guys and also the wave report channel will be getting a new host which is good going forward because like i said the wave report is now a mantle it's not just ran by one person which is me it's on some sub-zero ish you had behind who was the original sub-zero and then kwai lang took over etc etc so it's going to be one of those situations there but don't worry i will be in the back still running everything like a mastermind because i want to further the brain and i'm going to turn this into something like you've never seen before i'm going to do something that no fighting game channel has ever done before so you're going to have to stay tuned for all of that because i'm gonna be honest with you even though we got blacklisted from the community i want you to know i do not bend i do not break i do not fold i only expand why they hate i create buy real estate and lose weight shout out big mo and myron games if you know then you know so with that being said um there's a lot of reason for you to stick tuned towards the channel because we're going to be doing way more than just fighting games over here now i want you to know that the uh the wave report finance will be coming because i'm going to be helping you guys build your credit score giving you some real life tips helping you get the honeys and ladies giving y'all a couple of tips on how to get the fellas and how to be a productive human being and how to just make money all around from different avenues and everything so i believe in being a good human and being a good human will get you far but if you're watching this video for the first time make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn on post notifications as this is your brand new favorite and exclusive place for daily mortal kombat content i want to pass this question off to you guys in the comment section below do you feel like nrs is going through a tough time in the background 
Like, what type of scratch do you think they under? Or do you think they just good and chilling? Sound off in the comments. Got the golden frames. We outside in public, baby. Peaceful luck and friends. If they say it's up, then we ain't even shaking hands. Pull up with a beef and now they want to change the plans. Reason why they running, cause we shooting at they mans, yeah. Hey, and it's all part of the plan. Why she keep on calling? Cause she know I'm high demand. So in love with me, I got her on command. She sucked me inside the coop. I say, and I'm your biggest fan. Yo, she pull up whenever I land. I made it to the top, oh, you can see I'm living brand. I'm in Cali with some bitches on the beach. We bring a sand. Keep that 30 on the seat and shoot like curry with the left hand.